happened hundreds of years ago. That night, he lost himself and became nothing. That night, he made a decision that cost a life. But not just any life. The life of his child. His only daughter. The best part of himself. That night, he lost himself and became nothing. He was the first, but not the last. You knew it was Karen right away. Only she would show up after midnight. But you'd forgive her showing up at any hour because she was the best journalist you had. And this time, she'd outdone herself. She only had a fragment of the story about a strange cemetery kept under heavy guard. You weren't sure at first why Karen would bring this to you until something caught your eye and you realized this was the story of a lifetime. In minutes, you were ready to head to the site of the footage. Once again, Karen proved why she was the best. Why past tense, you ask? Well, that's a long story. The locals complain about strange noises and lights coming from the cemetery, but it's under 24-hour guard. Can you talk to the guard? Try to distract him so I can sneak past. Take my notebook. It has all the details I've gathered so far. Hey, this is a secure area. You can't be here. I'm not authorized to tell you anything. What? I levitated. That's ridiculous. I'm beginning to think the guards aren't keeping the cemetery safe from people, but keeping people safe from the cemetery. You wouldn't believe what I saw. What or who? I don't even know, but it sure wasn't human. I managed to take a photo, but it's stuck in the camera. I think the batteries are acting up. We have to find a way to show the guard so he can do something.
Are you serious? Trying to tell me there's a living skeleton riding around the cemetery on horseback? Okay, oh, okay, I'll take a look around. Just don't let this get out. The locals already have too many ideas about this place. seen anyone but you were right the skeleton definitely isn't a statue it's alive no touching see for yourself the skeleton in the photo is different from the statue how is that possible do what you want, but my life is more important than this job. I'm not staying here one second longer. human. You're indeed persistent. Yes, I am alive. So, what happens next? I do not hear the sounds of cowardly flight. This is encouraging. Perhaps you and I can make a deal. I am the keeper of the cemetery, and despite my lack of sight, I know everything about you. I know you seek your friend with the fiery hair. Due to her curiosity, she has been trapped. 
she now has only one foot in the living world. I am blind and cannot help you. The raven was my eyes for many years, but he is encased in stone. I lost part of the amulet which can bring him back to life. Find it, release the raven, and then I will help you. At last, I can see. What a marvelous night. Rain, darkness, and decay. All the things I love. How I have missed this. Release her? Ah, human. Your friend has come under the influence of powers outside my control. All I can do is help you get into the crypt. But if you enter, I cannot guarantee either of you will ever get out. Here is a key to the crypt the skull. A raven will help you with the other keys. I would suggest that you don't waste time. You haven't much to spare. <laughs> 